Okay, so continue na natin yung merge conflict resolution. This time, we're going to use two other approaches. Yung paggamit ng postpone at yung paggamit ng uh, pang-merge na ginagamit ng uh, uh, Tortoise SVN. So, gawa tayo ng isang bagong uh, uh, conflict. So, we have uh, numbers rito. It's just numbers 1 to 99 para mas madali nyo makita yung difference. So, Bob... Gawin natin yung conflict resolution kay Alice para mas madali siyang uh, mas madali siyang tignan. So, saan natin to? Say, remove uh, yeah, 5 to 15 dito. Then, commit natin. Again, and just ignore. Wala tayong log message for this part kasi magmamadali tayo. And in this case, ang um, gagawin ni Alice is move niya si uh, 1 to 10 after kay 20. Now, instead na ayan, nagkaroon ng conflict, you could use df. Ay kita mo yung mga changes. So, you could, ito yung gagamitin natin. Hindi tayo gagamit ng edit, hindi tayo gagamit ng solve. Gagamitin natin yung postpone. Postpone produces itong files na to. You have yung mine, yung previous revision, at yung current revision. So, you could review yung uh, uh, yan, previous revision, 1 to 99. Could review yung uh, current revision, yung current revision na nasa database which is tinanggal yung 5 to 15 eh, galing sa repository and yung sayo yung within, in which case may move mo yung 1 to 20 1 to 9 after nung 12 nung uh nung 20 so in this case pwede mo nang gamitin ngayon yung uh, resolve svn resolve so svn resolve allows you to accept isa dun sa apat na files na yun. Uh, typically, ang a-accept mo is yung working, which is ito. Yung uh, weird na conflicted na ganyan. Kasi ito usually yung e-edit mo. Kasi yung kita mo nga rito, ito yung uh, uh, well, ito yung walang conflict, itong part walang conflict, ito lang yung part na may conflict. So, nakita mo na tinanggal yung 5 to 15, you may want to do something more than yung ginawa mo last time. So, actually, you could do yung yan, changes rito. So, payagan mong mawala yung 5 to 15. And, yeah. Lan mang kaso. Minove man lang yung 1 to 4. Then, yung you could even remove it manually here yung uh, uh, 15 so yun uh, nagkaroon tayo ng doble ng 16 17, 18, 20 yeah doble yan so yun may kita nyo hindi lang dun sa region na sinasabi ng uh, conflict markers yung pwede nyo edit pwede mo edit lahat basta yun niya kausapin mo si Alice kausapin mo si Bob kung ano yung pagko-compromise mo say, and since the ball is in your court yun, ikaw na mag-resolve pero yun nga uh, tulungan mo hindi ka ng tulong sa kanila so in this case, ito yung accept natin which is simply just use yung svn resolve accept working then numbers so, once you resolve, uh, matitira na lang yung numbers.txt and uh, yung mga ibang files is already natanggal. So, then commit. Yan na. Commit nyo na. So, yun yung uh, SVN uh, yung postpone, SVN update and postpone. And yun rin yung uh, uh, SVN accept.
na SVN Resolve. Then, commit nyo na lang pag natapos na kayo. Another option, medyo, actually medyo madugo pa rin yun. Uh, um, kadalasan, if you're, well, if in your own experienced team, or medyo rare yung conflicts. Or kung may conflict man, madaling i-resolve. Pag you're in an inexperienced team, bago hindi maganda yung pagka-structure ng mga programs nyo, you'd expect na magkakaroon kayo ng maraming mga maraming mga conflict. So, gawa tayo ng conflict rito. Medyo magulong conflict. More na magulong conflict. So, tinanggal natin yung uh, uh, 25 to 35. And let's commit this. So, now commit na yun. Let's make a conflict here. So, saan ba tayo nag-conflict? Dun sa 25, di ba? Dun sa... Yeah, dun sa... Halikan nga natin. Kalimutan ko na eh. <laughs> so, yeah, dun sa 25 to 35. 25 to 35, yeah. 25 to 35. Let's remove yung 20. 1 to 30. We could use yung SVN update then yung uh, resolve stuff. Uh, but most of the time, uh, pwede yung gamitin yung uh, tortoise SVN na. So when you do tortoise SVN, automatic na siya nagpo-postpone. Then magkita nyo. However, in addition, Tortoise SVN also provides a merge tool. Itong edit conflicts. May kita nyo rito kung ano yung mga changes. So, in this case, there's uh, uh, nabawasan. Ta, nag, uh, yan, may kita nyo yung merge na version. Ang conflict part, itong part na to. Si 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And even this part, pareho silang nag... Uh, to minus, ibig sabihin, nabawasan, dinilit natin. So, dito, dinilit natin si 21. Uh, dito, nadilit rin yung mga iba. If you want to merge, you could simply use yung uh, commands rin sa taas. So, ito lang actually yung may merge conflict, si 10. So, uh, you would choose whether you're going to use yung 31 or yung 21 or and so on. This tool is, yun, uh, mas, 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 mas madali siya maintindihan if it's code, pero yun yan, let's just follow it. Sabihin natin, uh, we're just going to override whatever yung ginawa nung kabila. So, let's do that. Uh, Haling na click yung button. Uh, ito, itong uncle nangyari rito is nag-merge, ginamit niya pareho yung lines, which is not what we want. Itong mga ano to, uh, arrow to is uh, deleted. Uh, new line yan. So, wala, wala naman yung problema. I'm going to use this. And, yeah. So, in essence, ang um, magtitake precedence yun sa akin, we're just going to override yung pag-delete niya nung uh, 21 to 25. Yeah, 21 to 24. So, ang matitira is 4. Pag tapos 4, diretso na ng 31, 31, 35. So, uh, saving it and mark it as resolved. So, when you look at it, yun na. Uh, mawawala yung nabawa sa 35. You may, you may want to look at, okay, pag kunumit na natin siya, Kita mo yung difference, yun. Uh, essentially, replace mo yung 21, 23, 24 at binilik mo yung 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 na binawasan niya. So, yeah, so that's it. Uh, you have tools aside from yung mano-mano mong edit ng SVN Resolve. Uh, there are tools that are in the Tortoise SVN that allow you to um, 
handle yung merge conflicts.